Only a few days after China Airlines flight attendants ended their own strike, a union of 12,000 of the carrier's ground staff, pilots, maintenance workers and other employees has now announced it is considering asking its members to walk out this Friday. Talks between the union and airlines management broke down earlier today, with the union saying that Chairman He Nanshun hadn't met their demands. Members of the China Airlines Employees Union pounded a desk in protest at the tardiness of newly appointed China Airlines Chairman He Nuanxuan. The atmosphere was tense today as both sides engaged in direct negotiations. <laughs> Union members gave the CAL chairman a letter containing eight demands, some of which resembled those put forth by the airline's flight attendants. Other demands covered issues related to seniority, compensation while traveling to work, and increased hourly pay for part-time staff. All colleagues want fair and equitable treatment for everyone. CAL Chairman He Nuanxuan and union representatives agreed to reinstate a yearly promotion system across all staff, to give all staff 123 days of vacation a year, and to double pay during national holidays. However, no agreement was reached on the other demands. All staff, including pilots, are asking for compensation for their time spent traveling to work, such as having it count as working hours. The company didn't agree to this, so we broke off negotiations. I only saw the specific demands today. I hope that they could give me two weeks to digest all of this information. The CAL Employees Union announced that it would begin asking its members this Friday to take legal sick leave or vacation leave. The union didn't rule out an all-out strike as a final option in getting CAL management back to the negotiating table.